Welcome back to the Anglers Extra pregame show from Red Wilson Field. I'm Drew Carter. Time for Catch of the Day now, joined by Nick Patton. Nick, how you doing? Great, how are you? Doing pretty well, thank you. You've had a couple off days in a row now. What have you been up to? Uh, just hanging out. Me and my family went fishing. They were here all week, so it was great to see them, spend some time with them. Uh, so we went fishing and then just kind of hung out yesterday. You a big fisher? Oh yeah, I love fishing. <laughs> Your parents have actually been here for a while now. What does it mean to see them in the stands when you're out there playing? Oh, I mean, it means a lot, especially, you know, at Delaware, where it's still five hours away. I mean, they, they make it to quite a few games, but I mean, just love looking up and having them in the stands. And you're from Butler, Pennsylvania, right outside Pittsburgh. Can you give us an idea what that place is like? Um, it's just a little, like, rural town, kind of. There's, like, uh, the city, and then most of it's just rural. So how'd you end up at Delaware? Um, actually, when I was at IMG Academy in Florida, um, one of the coaches down there knew the head coach of Delaware, Jim Sherman, got him in contact. I went up for a visit and loved it and ended up there. Now, IMG Academy is a pretty unique place. Can you tell me about what your experience was like there? Uh, it was unbelievable. Um, I went to school from about 7.30 to 10.15, and uh, I was on the field by about noon every day. And then uh, we would lift around 5.30 to 6, and then we'd have study hall from 7.30 to 9.30 in our dorm room every night. What was it like living in Florida? It was awesome. I mean, off days we'd go to the beach. And just, it was always warm and, you know, you could always take swings whenever you wanted to. You probably had some pretty good teammates there at IMG too, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, there, there's a lot of good guys. I mean, Jason Groom got drafted 12th yeah. overall. Logan Allen's with the Padres now. Um, and, I mean, everybody's at the Division One level. Let's go back to a couple of days ago against Orleans. You had the RBI double in the fourth thing that kind of blew the game open. What do you remember about that play? Uh, I just remember there were, I believe, guys on first and third. I had two strikes on me and you know, I was just trying to put the ball in play. Even if that meant getting out, I mean, it was a run and, you know, just be a team at bat, you know, get the run across. And I ended up running into one and, you know, got a double. First extra base hit in a while for you. How'd it feel? Felt great. I mean, felt back back to normal, you know, swinging it well and, you know, just seeing the ball a lot better now. And in your first week, you had five extra base hits in your first four games. You won Cape Cod Player of the Week. How cool is that to win that award? Oh, I mean, it was pretty cool. I mean, this, this league is unbelievable. It's so much talent in this league, both uh, – pitching and, and hitting wise. I mean, so it was a really big honor. Last summer you were in the Perfect Game League playing in Central New York. Can you compare the difference between the Cape League and the Perfect Game League? Um, I would say the pitching here is a lot better overall. I mean, day in and day out, you're seeing everybody's best guy. And um, I mean, the Perfect Game League was still very competitive, very good, but the, the level of pitching here is a lot better. And your hitting coach, Jamie D'Antona, this summer, it seems like he works pretty closely with all the guys. What have you been working with him on so far? Uh, just kind of keeping my hands inside the ball, working, uh, you know, right center a lot, and just keeping my weight back, and it's felt great. You went opposite field for your first two home runs of the season. Is that another thing you're working on? Like, do you feel like that's a strong part of your game? Yeah, I would say it's a, it's a stronger part of my game. I've always kind of been natural right center guy. I mean, my, my freshman year, uh, I hit a lot of home runs to right center, as well as my sophomore year. Um, so it's just been kind of natural to go that way. Your sophomore year at Delaware, you guys made the NCAA tournament first time since 2001. What was that experience like? It was unbelievable. I mean, that's just a great group of guys to, to be able to, you know, put in all that work in the fall, all the work in the winter, and, uh, you know, go out and win the, win the conference and be competitive in the regional. It was just awesome. It was an awesome experience. And then this summer, you guys are about halfway through the season. This is actually the halfway point today. What do you think of the guys so far? I love them. I mean, all the guys are great. I haven't really ran into anybody I don't <laughs> like, you know. I mean, it, they're just great, great, great guys. Just a great group. And then the man running the show, John Schiffner, this is his last season. What does it mean to you to be playing under him in his 25th and final year? It means a lot. I mean, it's just, it's an honor to play for him. He's a very well-respected guy, you know, throughout the Cape Cod League and, you know, throughout the country. It's just been a great honor. And as you guys head into the second half of the season, what are you working on personally and team-wide? Just getting better. You know, we uh, we had a, had a decent first half, I would say. Just work on getting better, um, you know, a lot of wins and, you know, make, make these guys in the stands happy. And then, Nick, last question for you. That hair is gorgeous. I just got to say, do you think you have the best hair on the team? Oh, I don't know. There are a couple guys with some pretty good hair. I mean, I'd like to say I'm up there, though. <laughs> All right, great. Thank you, Nick. Thank you. Nick Patton, again, he's been great so far this season. Been playing first base every day for Chatham. He's our catch of the day. Now we go back to the Anglers Extra pregame show with Max Hurst.